Hey everyone, I'm Adam from THA Games, and here's a short video showing you how to go about preparing a map for use in the hike that binds us. Now theoretically, any map can be used for this game. The base game comes with a few maps which can be used. As well, there will be more released in the future. However, if you are interested in hiking a local trail, a famous trail, or any trail really, the game is set up to allow you to do that. Some maps will require more preparation than others, but in general, they will require minimal preparation and forethought. There are four basic steps to checking and preparing a map for hiking. Step number one, choose the map. For this video, we will actually be using a map that is on Kickstarter right now. There will be a link in the update to show you where to find it, but it's actually a great map to be used for this game. Step number two, breaking into sections. Depending on where your group of hikers plans to start and end, you have to break the route up into sections. Generally, 5 to 10 kilometer sections are preferred. Now, for this particular map, I'm just going to show you an example here. So I was thinking it would be really nice to hike Eagle Mountain, starting at El Paso Junction. So we're going to break this into sections. Now, I'm just marking on this map here. But you, don't, you can mark on a printed version or anything in any way you want. This whole trail will be only one kilometer or so long. But just to show you how to kind of break into sections, we're going to start with breaking up into sections at... El Paso Junction, break it up to Little Valhalla Lookout, so that's one trail section. We're going to break it again right about here, and then the last leg will break it at Eagle Mountain. Step number three, once you have your sections broken out, you can label their difficulty using the standard method laid out in the trail manual. With the sections actually broken up, you can start to look at the terrain, things that might make it difficult, like stream crossings, those types of things. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe distances make it difficult, forest types, all that sort of thing. So I believe that this last leg will be the most difficult. So we're going to label this as black. I think this section with a little split here is actually a little more on the medium side. And we'll say this first leg is a little bit easier than the others. Step number four, locating points of interest. There are two main types of points of interest, cautions and caches. Cautions are generally water crossings, which can be easily located on any lightly detailed map with just a few minutes. Caches are places where previous hikers and or locals store things for hikers to use for supplies. These are generally best located by kind of looking at extra notes on the map. So to locate the crossings, we're just going to look at this map here and it looks like there's a crossing right about here. So label there's a crossing here. Um, I'm going to add one right here because it looks like it could go down in here. Uh, and then another crossing up this lake. So with the cautions labeled, the stream crossings, the last thing we have to do is actually label the cache locations. Now, looking at this map quickly, um, these points of interest like Barton Point and Spahat Ridge, those look like pretty convenient places to add caches. So we're going to add one here. And we're going to add one here. You can set up the map, like I said, in any way you want. You can uh, use a pen, you can make mental note, whatever you want. There is a bonus step you can use. For the particularly thorough hiker, the trail guide may want to read up on the trail and surrounding area for things like recent animal encounters, uh, native vegetation, types of wildlife, etc. to help build some event ideas when prepping for the game. All of this information and more will be available in the trail manual for the game. This is a Kickstarter preview only. Once the game is released, we will be putting out more detailed information on preparing a map for the hike that binds us. Thanks for watching.